Mm-hmm. And actually, I forgot to ask you this because uh, it was, wasn't on my questions, but what was the social life like in Red Flag? Um, well, it's it's bizarre, really, because it's it's a bit different. So um, the first one that I did was that we were doing a night flying Red Flag. Um, and so we were around during the day and we were only going into work at sort of two o'clock in the afternoon. So we'd only finish about 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So, you know, for that one, it was a bit strange. We did have a massive happy hour on the Friday night in their bar. And that was a real sort of like, where is Tom? Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. (laughs) That really was one of those ones. And it was brilliant. And all the different nationalities all got together in the bar and it was fantastic. It was really fun. Um, we also disappeared off at the weekend. I mean, one weekend we headed off, I think it was to a place, is it Brian Head or somewhere in Utah? We went skiing for one weekend, you know. Oh, wow. Um, because it's sort of, you're over there for about two and a half weeks. It can be quite intense living in Vegas. We weren't in any of the big casinos because that's not allowed. So we were in some little like holiday inn type thing on the outskirts. Um, and yeah, Vegas is quite intense, you know. Cha-ching, 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 you know, you get, but it is brilliant. So, you know, you're, you're working hard though. And in the week, you're not socializing particularly. I mean, we would go out for the odd meal and things like that, but you know, it's quite, you know, set, you're being sensible, you know, yeah, you, you, you do this incredible flying. Come the weekends, we had some brilliant fun and great times. Yeah. Yeah. So, some, um, uh, great stories from the F3 guys. And um, it sounds like they got into a bit of bother as well sometimes. <laughs> well, well, it wouldn't surprise me about the F3s. They always go into bother. <laughs> yeah. I think, um, one of our patrons was actually one of the first people to review your books, I think, oh, yeah, which is great. Yeah, fantastic. a guy called yeah, a, a, a guy called uh, Joe Kunzler. So that was great to hear. He messaged me, and I was like, "That's okay. brilliant." Yeah. yeah. Did he like it? Did he get five stars? <laughs> Absolutely loves it. Yeah. Um, like I've got messages from him and uh, other people saying, "Oh, you have to get this book. This is amazing," and stuff like that, and uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely, and I can kind of relate to that. Probably not on that level, but. Uh, I got a, a message probably about uh, three weeks ago. I won't mention the name from one of our viewers on YouTube. And he said, I'm in, uh, I've been in such a deep depression and really low, but watching your videos makes me absolutely delighted and has really helped me. And I was like, wow, that's that like- Brilliant, Mike. Yeah, rather than like how many views I get, I was like, wow, that's yeah. that's, that's amazing. I've cha- like, made someone happy and that's the intention of the whole thing. And that was yeah. that was great getting that private message. Yeah, it is. And, and that those are the ones that make all the difference, you know. Um, I mean, now with the book, um, it's been so lovely. I've been getting emails and, you know, direct messages on all the different social media channels. And they're sort of saying, oh, my gosh, this is a really inspiring book for me. I'm a, a cadet or I'm a university escort student. And actually reading your book has really made me think, yes, I can do it. And you think, brilliant. That's what it was yeah. there for. You know, it's exciting. Makes your day as well, doesn't it? It does make your day. Absolutely. Yeah. 